The greatest V6 engines of all time. The first mass-produced V6 engine was in 1950, is the Lancia Aurelia. It was a great innovation at that time. We've compiled a list of the best V6 engines, and the cars they powered throughout history. The last engine on the list was produced by Ferrari to a competitor, and won a straight three World Rally Championships. Number 1. Honda NSX Second Generation. The Honda NSX, also known as the Acura NSX, is a two-seater, all-wheel drive, mid-engine hybrid electric sports car, built and produced by Honda in the United States in 2015. It is the successor to the original NSX, which was manufactured in Japan from 1990 to 2005. The NSX's second generation is a notable shift from the first generation in that it uses a hybrid electric powertrain. It has a twin-turbocharged 75-degree DOHC 4 valves per cylinder, 3.5-litre V6 engine that produces 500 horsepower, and is mated to a 3-electric motor sport hybrid superhandling all-wheel drive configuration, and a 1.3 kWh lithium-ion battery. The highest total horsepower output is 573. The car accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.7 seconds, and has a maximum speed of more than 310 km per hour. Number 2 is Ford GT Second Generation. Following a decade-long break from the first generation, the second generation Ford GT was introduced to the public with expectations for production in 2016. While V8 and even V12 engine were suggested, it was eventually agreed to use Ford's EcoBoost V6 engine due to the designer's freedom provided by the compact engine. The Ford EcoBoost engine is a 3.5-litre twin-turbocharged V6 engine that produces 647 horsepower. This horsepower output rating has been increased to 660 for the 2020 model year and beyond. The new GT can accelerate from 0 to 97 km per hour in 3 seconds, and has a claimed top speed of 348 km per hour. Number 3 is Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. The Giulia Quadrifoglio was the first model in the current Giulia lineup. It was unveiled in Italy in June 2015. The Quadrifoglio is powered by an all-aluminum alloy, twin-turbocharged gasoline direct injection 90 degrees 2.9 litre V6 engine. This engine was designed specifically for the Quadrifoglio by Ferrari technicians, and shares the same bore and stroke length as Ferrari's own twin-turbocharged F154 CBV8 engine. At 6500 rpm, the engine produces 503 horsepower. The Giulia Quadrifoglio accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.9 seconds, and has a maximum speed of 307 km per hour. Number 4 is Nissan GT-R. Nissan's GT-R is a high-performance sports car and Grand Tourer that was introduced in 2007. The Nissan GT-R is powered by a 3.8-liter DOHC V6 engine with plasma-transferred wire arc-sprayed cylinder balls and two parallel Ishikawajima Harima turbochargers for forced induction. Multiple models were introduced over the course of the years with variations in the chassis design and modifications on the engine. The latest 2020 model has an output horsepower of 600, 330 km per hour as a top speed and accelerates from 0 to 97 km per hour in 2.48 seconds. Number 5 is, Lotus Evora. The Lotus Evora is a sports car built by British car manufacturer Lotus, unveiled at the British International Motor Show on July 22, 2008. The Evora comes in a variety of models, but all are powered by a 3.5-litre 24-valve 2GR V6 engine sourced from Toyota. The Evora S, unveiled in 2010. The Evora 400, unveiled in 2015. The Evora Sport 410, unveiled in 2016. The Evora GT430, unveiled in 2017. The Evora GT, unveiled in 2019. All the models share the same V6 engine from Toyota, but of course, with modifications.
The best model regarding power and speed was the Evora GT430 Sport Edition, with a 430 horsepower output, 315 km per hour top speed, and acceleration from 0 to 97 km per hour in 3.7 seconds. Number 6, Mercedes AMG GLC 43 4MATIC. The giant automaker Mercedes also uses V6 engines in some of their produced cars. The Mercedes-Benz M276 engine is one of the most popular V6 engines produced by Mercedes. It is used in multiple cars, and the most popular is the AMG GLC 43. Powered by the M276, a twin-turbo 3-liter V6 engine, generating 385 horsepower. It accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.8 seconds and a top speed of 250 km per hour. This engine was also used in the CLS 400, the GL450, the E450, and many more. Number 7 is Alfa Romeo 156 GTA. The Alfa Romeo 156 GTA, which was unveiled at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September 2001, is a sports car manufactured by the Italian automaker Alfa Romeo. The GTA's production ended in October 2005 due to the V6 engine's inability to follow emissions requirements, and the 156 replacement by the 159. The GTA was sold in small quantities, with right-hand drive vehicles obtaining a premium cost than left-hand drive vehicles thanks to their rarity. The 3.2-litre Busone V6 engine that powered the 156 GTA was universally praised for its sound and ability to boost. This was Alfa Romeo's biggest version of the engine. This engine could produce 247 horsepower, achieve a top speed of 250 km per hour, and accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.3 seconds. Number 8. Jaguar XJ220 The Jaguar XJ220 is a two-seat sports car manufactured by the British luxury carmaker Jaguar between 1992 and 1994. The XJ220 evolved from V12-powered four-wheel drive concept car, created by an informal group of Jaguar employees in their spare time. The first XJ220 model car was shown to the public at the 1988 British International Motor Show in Birmingham, England. The XJ220's production engine was a 3.5-litre twin-turbocharged V6. This engine took the place of the Jaguar V12 engine that was used in the concept car. The decision to replace the engine was influenced by engine weight and dimensions, as well as environmental emission concerns. It had a horsepower rating of 542, a maximum speed of 342 km per hour, and could accelerate from 0 to 97 km per hour in 3.6 seconds. Number 9. 1987 Buick GNX Buick launched the GNX, which stands for a Grand National Experimental, in 1987 for $29,900. Created in collaboration with McLaren Performance Technologies. It is a Buick Regal Series model from the second generation. It had a 3.8-litre turbocharged V6 engine and an automatic transmission. Buick underestimated the GNX at 276 horsepower, but it actually has a brake horsepower output of 300. It was tested faster than the Ferrari F40 and the Porsche 930 covering 402 meters in 12.7 seconds at 182 km per hour. It could accelerate from 0 to 97 km per hour in 4.6 seconds. Number 10 is Lancia Stratos. The Lancia Stratos is a sports car and rally car created by the Italian car manufacturer Lancia from 1973 to 1978. It was a perfect rally vehicle, having won the World Rally Championship three times in 1974, 1975, and 1976. It was powered by a 2.4-litre V6 Ferrari Dino engine. The use of this engine had been planned from the start of the project, 
but Enzo Ferrari was hesitant to sign off on it, in a car he saw as a competitor to his own Dino V6. He promised to supply the engines for the Stratos after the construction of the Dino was completed. It produces 190 horsepower, allowing the road car to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.8 seconds and reach a maximum speed of 232 km per hour. Have you used any of these cars before? And which V6 engines do you suggest to be added to the list?